Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Talsma, CRM Product Manager here at Interdyne BMI. And today I'm bringing to you a high-level introduction to Sales and Dynamics 365. The intended audience for this presentation would include individuals who are brand new to Dynamics 365 or just starting to use Dynamics 365. The purpose of this video will be to go over the very basics of the critical entities within the sales module of Dynamics 365. Specifically, I'll be going over the account, contact, lead, and opportunity entities. As you may already know, there is much more out-of-the-box functionality beyond these entities that you can take advantage of. However, these entities are the main pillars upon which the sales module lies. So with that, let's go ahead and move to our demonstration of our first entity, Accounts. Here you can see a list of the accounts within our Dynamics 365 organization. So I'll go ahead and open one of them up. And think of accounts as the companies or vendors that you work with. This is the top level record which you can use to track numerous pieces of valuable information for existing customers. For example, you can track high level information about the account, such as the account name, phone number, website, as well as the address that even automatically pulls up within Bing Maps. You also have the ability to track activities. When we reference activities, we're talking about things such as phone calls, tasks, emails, appointments, so on and so forth, and these are activities that could have taken place in the past or are yet to occur in the future. Two other types of records that we're going to be going over in this video are contacts and opportunities. Contacts are the individuals that work within the given account, where opportunities are the specific sales engagements that have either taken place in the past or are currently open. So with that, let's go ahead and move to contacts. As mentioned previously, we have the ability to track the individual people that we work with as well within Dynamics 365, and these records are called contacts. Tracking contacts in Dynamics 365 allows us to capture critical information on the individuals we work with within a centralized database accessible to everyone in the company in real time. With the view selector, I can choose which contacts I want to see. In the current view, my active contacts, I can see all the contacts for which I'm the owner. Think of this as my personal phone book. I can also select active contacts. And what this is going to do is it's going to show me all contacts within the entire system. So let me pull up a contact and show you the things that we can track within the contact record. So here in our contact record, Jim Glenn, you can see that we have all sorts of useful information that we can track about him, such as his name, job title, email, phone numbers, as well as build a relationship to the account that he works for. Similar to the account, we have our activities pane. And again, this will show all the most recent activity that has taken place either via phone call, email, appointments, or even create tasks of things to do to follow up with Jim. You can also see over here on the right, we can track his recent sales opportunities that he's been the primary contact for. And again, if you have the service module, you can also track recent cases for which he was the primary contact. So next I'd like to show you how you can use Dynamics 365 to manage your sales pipeline. So I'm going to navigate back to my home page, which is a dashboard of all my sales activity. Within this dashboard I can see things such as my sales pipeline, my leads that I have by source, my top opportunities, and top customers. Dashboards are completely configurable both at a system-wide level as well as for the individual users. You also get a number of dashboards straight out of the box. So what I'm going to talk about next are the specific records that make up the sales activity dashboard and the key ones being the leads and opportunities. So we're going to start with leads. So as I navigate to the lead entity, again you'll notice I have my view selector that shows my open leads or I have the ability to see all leads in the system as well as leads that I've closed in the past. I'm going to go ahead and open one of these records up. One of the most common questions we get from brand new users of Dynamics 365 is what is the main difference between an opportunity and a lead? Think of leads as sales engagements regarding a company and or individual that you have limited knowledge on who they are or what they're looking for. Within your sales process, this is the qualification step where you need to determine whether or not your solution is a possible fit for the customer need. Within the lead record, we have the ability to capture key information about the prospect including information about the individual we are working with, such as their name, job title, key contact information, company name, etc. 
We can also capture key information about the sales engagement, such as their purchase time frame and estimated budget. We can also define specific sales process qualification steps within our business process flows. As I complete each of these steps, it will show a check mark to indicate that I've completed the step. These steps are easily configured to your specific business needs. Once I've completed all necessary steps within the lead, I can choose to either qualify or disqualify the lead. When I disqualify, I can choose different reasons why, such as we lost the deal, maybe they're no longer interested, or I possibly I'm just canceling it because our solution wasn't a good fit in the first place. We also have the ability to qualify a lead. And when we qualify a lead, it's going to automatically create an opportunity from this lead, taking all of the key information, as well as creating a contact for Maria Campbell and create an account for Fabricam. It's then going to relate all three of these records together. And from here, let's go ahead and qualify the lead. You now see that we've been brought to the opportunity record that was automatically created and that key pieces of information have carried over from the lead. To further explain what opportunities are, opportunities represent a potential sale that has either been qualified from a lead or created from an existing customer. Tracking your opportunities in Dynamics 365 allow you to manage your individual sales pipeline while simultaneously providing management with the overall sales pipeline for the entire organization. Within an opportunity record, you can track numerous pieces of information. For example, you can see that we progressed to the next stage in our pipeline. We're now in the develop stage and we can complete the new steps that go along with that stage. We also have the ability to track things such as stakeholders, sales team members, competitors, as well as products and product line items. After putting in all this information, you have the ability to generate quotes that automatically pull the information from this opportunity as well. At the completion of an opportunity, you then have the ability to close it as won or lost. So that's as far as we're going to go for today. I hope this gave you a high level overview of just some of the capabilities available within the sales module of Dynamics 365. And again, we're just scratching the surface of what you can get out of the box. If you're interested in Dynamics 365 and would like to learn more, don't hesitate to reach out to us in the information provided within the description. If you'd like to know more about Interdyne BMI, feel free to check out our website. And to see more CRM specific content, visit www.letstalkcrm.com where we continually post new content related to Microsoft Dynamics CRM. If you'd like to be kept up to date on when I post my newest videos or release blog posts, I encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as follow me on Twitter. Thanks again for watching and if you would like to know more, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Have a great day.